Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ebony. I am a human design reader, expert, and coach, and today we are talking about gate 61. Now, gate 61 is the gate of mystery or the gate of inner... Is it inner depth? I don't think... I can't remember what the other name for it is, but I know the... I think the... Uh, official name for it is the gate of mystery I'm pretty sure god that bothers me um okay I'm sorry so this gate is in the crown center so we're talking about mental pressure here right this gate is constantly downloading information right this gate is very much associated with um claircognizance so like just knowing things you just know things and you don't necessarily know why you know them you just know them like the information just comes to you out of nowhere right so the shadow of this gate is the shadow of this gate is psychosis <clears throat> and this um inner truth inner truth that's that's the other name so the the reason why the shadow of this gate is inner truth is because this gate wants to question the deep <clears throat> oh my god wants to question the deeper questions question the deeper questions that's kind of it's a better way to say that I know it like wants to question the deeper mysteries of life so it wants to take like these deep and profound mysteries and find the truth within them like what is the truth of this like what is what what is um what's the meaning of life you know mysteries like that questions like that this gate loves it loves to dive into these deeper mysteries and the shadow is psychosis. The shadow is getting so lost in the mystery, getting so lost in all of these downloads that you're getting, getting so lost in your head that you know you lose the ability to be present. You lose the ability to come out of it because you're so stuck in it. You're so lost in it that you don't you can't tell where your brain ends where the truth where the mystery ends it's just it's all kind of jumbling together and you kind of lose your connection to the physical world because you're so up in here you're so in the questions you're so in the mystery that you're losing your connection to reality right um it can also look like kind of just giving your power away so because you have this deep desire and this innate need to know these inner truths to question these mysteries you start to give your power away to things that take that mental pressure off of you so like if you have this gate and you want so badly to know the meaning of life and some person comes and says hey I have the answer that you're looking for like say it's like some some religion some religion says this is the answer to life and you take that and you're like yeah that makes sense because this thing has now taken that mental pressure off of you, you now give your power away to that thing and you start to lose your innate curiosity because now this thing has given you all those answers that you wanted and it takes that mental pressure away. I don't have to think about this anymore because so-and-so already told me what the meaning of life is, telling me all of these things, so I don't need to worry about that anymore because I already know, right? That is the shadow of this gate. So moving from the shadow of psychosis into the gift of inspiration requires you to be playful with your inner world and your inner knowing. Not getting lost in the pressure, not getting lost in all of the, because this gate downloads information. It literally takes things and downloads it from the ether. That's how you just know things that you logically shouldn't know. Or don't even know how you know. That's why. Because this gate pulls shit from, you know, consciousness, source, whatever. And it just, it, it has it sitting there. And it wants you to question and understand what's going on. So the gift of inspiration comes when you just allow yourself to playfully question things. Like, oh, that's an interesting thought. Where did that come from? Oh, I wonder how I can apply this to that. Oh, I wonder how this fits in. Oh, that's interesting. And as you kind of just let your mind kind of wander and you're playfully questioning questioning these things that you just know for some reason, 
you get to allow yourself to just be inspired, to be inspired by the things that come into your head, to be inspired by these mysteries and the answers that you gain from questioning these things in a very playful way. That is the gift of this gate is inspiration. When you come out of the psychosis, when you just allow the mystery to be what it is, you come into this space of inspiration and you move into the highest frequency, which is sanctity. All knowledge is sacred. Everything that you pull in is sacred. Everything has its place. Everything has its purpose. Even the things that you don't understand right now, even the mysteries that are a little bit more difficult for you to work through right now, it's all sacred and it all has its purpose and you get to see it for what it is. And you don't have to be controlled by it. You don't have to be overwhelmed by it because you know at the end of the day, it's all leading you to where you mentally want to be. And it all gets to be inspiring. It all gets to be sacred. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.